This month on The Card Life, presented by AuctionMonthly.com. It was an adrenaline like none other. Found something else to chase for, for every October. Holiday gift guide for the collector in your life. They had these other cards that I'd never seen before, and they said FLIR World Series. To be able to find a card of his that no one else has seen before in decades, it's quite an amazing feat. Welcome once again to The Card Life, the only show dedicated to the sports card hobby. I'm your host, Matt Strom. This month on The Card Life, we aren't focused on a single city. Instead, our theme this month is the postseason. We'll introduce you to a Houston collector that has an incredible complete set of vintage FLIR World Series cards, including some that were short printed long before short prints were a part of the hobby. And I'll tell you about what I collected from the Phillies postseason run. Obviously the deepest run I've ever had in my career. Um, also the first like true experience I've had of the postseason in my opinion, because 2020 it was limited fans inside the bubble when we were in Texas. But uh, yeah, it was um, it was an adrenaline like none other. I've always said the reason I play the game and what I compete is because of the adrenaline, but I've just unlocked something completely new and found something else to chase for, for every October. <laughs> Yeah, um, excited about it. Uh, love the celebration picture. Uh, me embracing JT there. Um, but yeah, it was an unreal moment. And then even, even more surreal to see a baseball card of it. Organizations always, I feel like any collector, I don't even know if that exists, um, but uh, that's always a, a plan. But I mean, really just, go through my stuff and open more, I guess. That's 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 how I collect and enjoy this hobby. I think it's gotta be the the first pull, two Torkelson golds in both boxes. Would you look at that? Two gold torque debuts. That would have taken the cake. Kinda hard to beat that. Some other ones I pulled this year of, uh, like the 101 Gunner Henderson I pulled on uh, Filth Bombs. It's unreal. That's uh, that, again. It's just. It's all kind of surreal to me. It's almost simulation like. Like things I'm interested in are just happening, and uh, I happen to be one of them. So I uh, can't wait to get my hands on a case of update. Maybe uh, maybe we'll end up having to give it away because I'll hit the one on one myself. Up next, an amazing collection of cards celebrating the World Series. Are you in the business of selling trading cards? Accelerate your trading card business with Rico Document Scanners. The best scanners in the business with the widest range of software and service support. Whether you're a card shop or a collector, from raw singles to rare slabs, Rico Scanners. Digitize your collection quickly and accurately so you can focus on running your business. Scan more, sell more, do more with Rico Document Scanners. Turn this into this at auctionmonthly.com, a better way to sell your sports cards, memorabilia, and collectibles. Our white glove service from start to finish will help you evaluate and sell your entire collection. Turn your sports cards and collectibles into cash. Get started right now at auctionmonthly.com. Robert Laughlin was an artist who began privately selling art cards depicting great World Series moments in 1967. Three years later, Fleer hired Laughlin to create a unique World Series set using his unique humor and style, and sold them in dime packs containing 10 cards each. He continued producing World Series cards for Fleer until 1980. In Houston, Colin McKeon has dedicated years to collecting all of the Laughlin sets. I'm Colin McCann. I originally grew up in North Jersey, but I've been in uh, Houston, Texas for the past six years. 
I've been a sports fan, especially a baseball fan, since I was a little boy. My mother used to buy me baseball cards back in the late 60s, and of course the Mets won the World Series in 69, so I was hooked. But if you remember, the Topps cards came out in series back then, so they would start in February, and if you had all the 90 or 100 cards of that series, you had to wait a month for the next series. We went to the convenience store to see if they had the next series in, and they didn't but they had these other cards that I'd never seen before, and they said Fleer World Series, and I was like, what are these? And my mom was pretty cool, and she was a big baseball fan. She's like, well, let's buy a couple of packs and find out. I have a vivid recollection of buying that first pack and open them up, and out comes these beautiful color cards, and they depicted every World Series from when they started in 1903 until 1970. And what's cool is on the back, you could read about the results of that World Series, and it was a great way for a kid to learn World Series history. So that, that's how I got hooked on the Fleer World Series cards. As we get older, you start reminiscing about your childhood, and, and I had started collecting some Topps cards. I got the 1970 series, which was my first one really fully collecting. And one day I started thinking, what about those colorful World Series cards? And I did what everyone does. I went on eBay and started searching and, and up they popped. And I'm like, I remember these and I love them. And so next thing you know, I bought a, a, a set, not a great one. And they came and next thing you know, I wanted to buy a nicer set. So that, that's what got me back into it. I wanted to learn more about the cards. And there was this whole history that, that I didn't even know about. So the artist, and I remembered his name from the back of the cards, R.G. Laughlin, which he went by Robert and Bob. And I guess he was a cartoon artist. He'd been in the background of some other famous cartoons from back in the day. But he was a baseball fan and a Yankee fan. And so he's the one that created this set. But the original set wasn't the one that we know from Fleer. He actually created his own set in 1967. He hand collated them. He cut them. He actually took two sheets of paper because they were so thin and glued them together. And so they're a little thicker, they're a little larger than the traditional baseball card. And he only created 300 sets. And he did it by mail order. And I wish we could all go back in time and just buy them all. They were $3.50 a set back in 1967. And what's distinctive about them is on the bottom, there's two lines of information, including the address you wrote to him in uh, Tenafly, New Jersey, where the later reissue doesn't have that. It took a while. I kept searching and searching eBay, and they're there, but usually you have to buy them one card at a time. But this one gentleman did put a set up for sale, and I told him I felt a, a need to let him know that these were the originals, and he said, I didn't even know that. He goes, but you're being so honest, I'm going to honor the deal. And uh, so that's how I got my set of the original 1967, and I'm never getting rid of those. And then I learned that he spoke with Fleer and they came to an agreement that Fleer would distribute them. And then Fleer was smart enough that in the late 70s, they created first something called an extension set. It updated the World Series cards from where they left off. So they picked up in 71, which is the most famous one because it's the Clemente World Series. And that's the rarest and most valuable card all the way up through 77. And they're really hard to find because they were distributed through a promotion with the Good Humor Company, an ice cream company in the Northeast. So they're, they're really hard to find, especially in good condition. This card here is the rarest of them all. It's 1971. It depicts Roberto Clemente. It's hard to get these cards in very good condition. It's hard to get them at all. They issued a, another series around 1980, but they had stickers on the back instead of that narrative that I think made the card so special. And they're not, you can go on eBay and get those pretty cheap right now. Now I've probably done two dozen sets now and it's still the same anxiety and exhilaration when I put the set together. Like I got the last one, let's get it on eBay and put it up for sale. I really wish I could go back in time and go meet Laughlin. Turned out he lived about 10 miles from where I grew up and about five miles from where I bought that first pack to bring the story all the way back to the beginning. He was right there living in New Jersey, and unfortunately he passed away in 2006. Hopefully there's a lot of people that recognize what he did and, and respect the cards that he issued. My wife and family and friends think I'm crazy, and they don't get it, but to rekindle that joy from when I was seven years old of opening packs and putting the sets together, either you love cards or you don't, and I'm 
I'm on the love side. We grew up as passionate fans and collectors. Now we've started a giant movement that makes you the MVP. Built on GOAT level service, a game changing online shopping experience. And the hottest cards at the lowest prices. The ultimate collector's cave, our modern day retail experience. Open now in Alpharetta, Georgia. GiantSportsCards.com. Hey, collectors. I'm Tiffany Verzel, one of the producers of The Card Life. I've always struggled finding unique holiday gifts for the hobby lovers I know. So this year, The Card Life has created a holiday gift guide for the collector in your life. These are all unique gift ideas, many of which are new to the hobby. So let's get started. Let's kick things off with an awesome new option for both displaying and storing trading cards. Vaulted Vinyl has created these hard shell vaults that not only keep your cards safe, but, and this is our favorite part, provide scratch resistant exterior windows to show off the grails of your collection. They sent one to me and I don't know if you can see it. I put like my Sapphire 101. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Inside, high density foam allows storage for dozens of graded slabs or one touch cases. The handle makes this case portable and a lock provides security. The Display Vault Card Edition runs $149.99 and is available at vaulted-vinyl.com. Next up, a great new way to display your cards at home. Stand Up Displays recently added officially licensed Major League Baseball team logos to their card displays. That's right. Collectors can now display their cards on a stand that matches the team on their favorite cards. Plus, these displays have a small thumb screw on the back support, meaning you can adjust the stand to fit a raw, graded, one-touch, top-loaded, or any other type of trading card. MLB Collection stand-up displays cost $19.95, but are available to Card Life viewers for 15% off by using the code the Card Life at checkout. Grab this great gift at StandUpDisplays.co. How about a gift that lets the collector in your life wear their passion? We met Will from Card Belts when we were filming in Colorado, and we were so impressed with how great these look in person. Each card belt is made by hand using actual baseball, football, basketball, hockey, college, and pretty much every other type of trading card you can think of. You can find the perfect belt featuring a favorite team or player at cardbelts.com or reach out to Will about creating a custom belt that matches what your hobbyist loves. Every belt is one of a kind and runs from $49.95 to $79.95. Card Life viewers can get 10% off at checkout by using the code the card life. Back to another great way to display cards. But with this option, you can place them literally anywhere. The card cradle holds graded, one touch, or top loaded cards in a clear display that puts all the focus on the card. Our favorite part installation is as easy as it gets. Just pull off the command strip. Plus, the infinite ways to display using a card cradle are only limited by the imagination of the collector. And even better, the card cradle is extremely affordable. A four pack is just $13.50 and a 12 pack runs just $29.99. You can grab one as a gift at thecardcradle.com. Every collector needs a way to protect cards in their collection, and our friends at Iron Guard Supplies have made it easy to get everything someone needs without having to figure out what they might need. Iron Guard has three prices of Defender kits, ranging from $22 to $48. Each includes a different amount and a variety of one-touches, top-loaders, sleeves, and pocket binder pages. 
This means your collector will have everything they need when it comes to supplies well into the new year. Grab your All-Star, MVP, or Championship Defender Kit at IronGuardSupplies.com. If your order is over $100, use promo code THECARDLIFE at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. If you're still stuck and need help, our friends at Giant Sports Cards have volunteered to be your wax box elves for the holidays. Head over to GiantSportsCards.com and click the Holiday Shopping Elf button. Fill out the form about favorite teams, players, and budget for the collector you are shopping for, and Giant will send over recommendations of what to buy. Happy holidays and happy shopping from all of us here at The Card Life. Hey card collectors, looking for deals on sports cards? Well, it's time you've heard about Pristine Auction. PristineAuction.com is the most trusted site for sports cards. You can win authentic cards at affordable prices with daily auctions starting at just a dollar. It's free to register, free to bid, and auctions are ending right now. So head over to PristineAuction.com and sign up with the promo code for $10 off your first win. as passionate fans and collectors. Now we've started a giant movement that makes you the MVP. Built on GOAT level service, a game-changing online shopping experience, and the hottest cards at the lowest prices. The ultimate collector's game, our modern day retail experience. Open now in Alpharetta, Georgia. GiantSportsCards.com. Are you in the business of selling trading cards? Accelerate your trading card business with Rico Document Scanners. The best scanners in the business with the widest range of software and service support. Whether you're a card shop or a collector, from raw singles to rare slabs, Rico Scanners. Digitize your collection quickly and accurately so you can focus on running your business. Scan more, sell more, do more with Rico Document Scanners. time for our look at the digital side of cards and this month I'm joined by Candy Digital Head of Partnerships Matt Novogratz. So for those who are unfamiliar with the MLB digital collectibles, can you just tell us a little bit what makes Candy special? Number one, we, we're all big collectors. We like cardboard. We're uh, traditional collectors as well, but we've never really tried to replicate the physical, uh, physical collectible. We're like, how can we evolve that? What can we do differently? So the collectibles themselves, um, they're dynamic, they feature video, motion graphics, sound, highlights with our highlight product. We do plays of the week that are released every Monday of the season. Our icons, which are the closest thing we have to a trading card, they've got kind of a very similar rarity tier where you start at core all the way up to legendary, which is a one of one. The other cool thing with our cards that you can do that you can't do with physical, um, you can compete in different challenges. There will be burning challenges, which kind of control the supply. Challenges that unlock different types of rewards or experiences. We had hundreds of fans do meet and greets with players this year. Pete Alonzo, Michael Harris II. It's a really cool way to unlock these unique experiences. For fans who collect moments of the postseason, what, what did Candy Digital do or what have you guys made available for those fans to, to have access to the postseason? Yeah, that's a great question. And it's really kind of two different products. One, which is our plays of the week, where we highlight the top plays of each week. We release those on Monday, so you'll see Bryce Harper's home run in there. Uh, it's a really cool way to have this like instant, immediate uh, collectible, get your hands on. And the other way was with our partnership with Major League Baseball, we issued commemorative tickets for every postseason game. Uh, over the course of this postseason, we onboarded about 60,000 new tickets, uh, ticket redeemers. So it's a great way to introduce candy to folks. It's a great way to 
um, kind of replace this missing piece of uh, this missing collectible of going to the game and really remembering that uh, that experience. Not gonna lie, I was gonna I was a, a hard stone to turn on the digital world just because I've, again I grew up in in the 90s with cardboard like that was what we all had and then to think just how how phone driven everything has gotten I was kind of turned away from it but then after experiencing the it's not the same of opening a pack but the the experience of finding what's next is still there and you guys done an unbelievable job of creating that on on a digital platform so I think the the thrill of the hunt is what I thought was going to be lacking in the digital world of just opening something but I think you guys have hit it on the head with with making that 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 search still still desirable alrighty Matt well thank you that was fun and a reminder that all card life viewers can start their collection today with a free MLB pack from candy just scan this QR code you guys can all get your collection started there and uh, thanks again Matt It's time to unbox your love of the game, presented by Giant Sports Cards. Riker and Mav are 11-year-old twin brothers. Riker loves the Jags and Trevor Lawrence, while Mav is a huge Chiefs fan. Giant Sports Cards sent them a box of 2023 Panini Certified. Travis Kelsey. Congrats on the hits, Riker and Mav. Thank you, Giant Sports Cards, for letting us unbox our love for the game. Unbox your love of the game at GiantSportsCards.com. Ever wonder what your cards are worth? Snap a photo of your cards. Get the value in seconds. Build your collection. Buy and sell. Level up in the hobby. Add great cards to your collection at pristineauction.com, where over 10,000 sports card auctions end every week. Use the promo code THECARDLIFE and get $10 off your first auction win. Back here at Giant Sports Cards with DJ, and today we're gonna open some Topps Pristine 23. This is one of my favorite product releases of the year, so. Let's do it to it, man. Let's get into it. It's not bad, that's a rookie. There we go. Oh, Nailer Gold. Oh, yeah. There we go. On the gold. The Nailer family, they uh, yeah. have quite the genetics. Okay. Oh, that's, not a bad that's what we like to see right there. Boom, Jordan, Jordan Walker. Walker. He's also an Atlanta native. Okay. So that, that'll He's be got a really good. Too. Yeah, he does. I like that. That's really nice. It's a good one right there. Oh, there we go. Luis Arias. There we go, that one's cool. The batting cool. king on the Patch Auto. Nelson Velasquez. Johnny Bench. That's not a bad one. Shohei. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, snap. Die cut. That was really cool. Not bad at all. CGC is proud to be the official grading partner of the Card Life. CGC's world-class expertise and state-of-the-art technology provide collectors with accurate, consistent, affordable, and fast grading. Learn more at cgccards.com. Hey card people, Andy Broom, Vice President of CGC Cards, and today I have a new to the hobby card that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So it's not every day that we get to see a brand new Jackie Robinson card that we've never seen before, especially a card from his career. The card we have today is a 1953 our Sports Magazine Sports Authority card. So Our Sports Magazine was a very short run magazine in 1953. In its debut issue, they had an ad for the Jackie Robinson card. Sports Authority, you can't lose an argument with this card. And so the cards were like a subscription. When you subscribe to the magazine, they gave you the card with your name on it. This particular copy is graded a 2.5 by CGC. 
So not only is this the first one that CGC has ever graded, this is the first example that I've ever seen in over 24 years of grading cards. While this card is new to the hobby, the image on the card is not. This is actually from the same photograph that was used to make his 1953 Topps card. Without question, Jackie Robinson is one of the most popular athletes collected today. There's really nothing I can really say about Jackie that you probably don't already know, being the first African American in Major League Baseball, his activism over the years. And so to be able to find a card of his that no one else has seen before in decades, it's quite an amazing feat. Not only is this amazing card the very first that CGC has ever graded, but it's the only example graded by any grading company. That's all for The Card Life this month. I'm Matt Strom. We'll see you next time on The Card Life.